it's not the path I ever envisioned myself going down. You know, I, I thought I was a nurse and that's what I was going to end up doing. And then all of a sudden I got uh, really in tune with my health. And I realized one day it was after my husband and I got married. Um, I was pregnant, suffered an unfortunate miscarriage, and I started to really do a deep dive, as a lot of pregnant women do, into what their environment is like. I knew that I was fairly healthy. So I started looking at everything around me. And then that's when I realized my skincare was just loaded with toxins, toxins that were uh, cancer causing neurotoxins, um, endocrine disruptors, you know, the drill, everything. So that's when I became super interested. So I, I pretty much am one of those people I'm type A, it's I'm all in or I'm all out. And I pretty much overnight ditched all of my beauty products and said, if I can't make it, I'm just not going to use it. So I got busy and I started creating skincare made literally from food grade ingredients like oils, essential oils, herbs, clays, things like that. When I talk about dental health, I always tell people that I, I think we got it wrong in our education of, um, of people on how to brush your teeth. The reason for me, the reason you should be brushing your teeth isn't necessarily to clean your teeth because your saliva, you, you know, your saliva is what you produce to actually clean the um, acids away, the food particles away from your mouth. Most of us don't produce enough saliva because of the things we put in our mouth cuts down on our saliva. So that's the main problem. But the reason we should be brushing our teeth is really to put the minerals back in our teeth. Our teeth are made with minerals and the minerals, you know, it's like a, a gateway. The minerals go in and out of your teeth pretty regularly. And when you have an outflux that's greater than what you're putting back in, that's when you end up with sensitive teeth, which ultimately can lead to cavities needing root canals and fillings and things like that. So um, my interest in the teeth really started when my daughter was at the age of two and had a molar come in that had a natural cavity in it. And the dentist told me that that tooth wasn't going to last more than a year. So we put a temporary filling in it and I started doing my research and found that there were some better ingredients out there, ingredients that are natural, that actually have minerals in them that can replace the minerals in your teeth. And uh, so I started formulating a powder made with different clays. And uh, I'm happy to say that today my daughter's 10 and she still has that tooth that was supposed to fall out within a year. And it's um, my t dental health is inclined as well. But the problem isn't just with brushing our teeth, uh, it's the products that we're using. You've got harsh ingredients in regular commercial toothpaste, um, SLS, triclosan, glycerin, um, that can hurt not just your teeth, but your gum tissue. Most of us suffer from bleeding gums. And if you suffer from bleeding gums, a lot of times that's a portal of entry for bacteria and other things into your mouth or into your body, including inflammation inside your body. So by using harsh ingredients, you're stripping away the natural biome that can live inside your mouth and protect you, as well as it's you're not replacing any of the enamel or the minerals lost in your enamel. So my interest really became um, apparent when my daughter had her issue and trying to save that tooth.